start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? <laughs> These impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has won. There's a lock on the memories and the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea of what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Yes, I can try and coil the lane again. Hi, Piper. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find oh, wow. one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Huh. Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's going to be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I... I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're going to be really happy here. We are. 
You'll see. That's okay. I got her. Worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never <laughs> met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Mind if we sit down? There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. Suit yourself. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured... They were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. <laughs> if they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. The vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. 
I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> oh. Big heads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. But they needed me. I made sure they knew it. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Are we okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. No. I got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna. I'm not giving you so. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. 
Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. 688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. No movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Uh, am I okay? Are you seeing anything... anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. How does that make you feel? It... It wasn't all his fault. I can't blame him for everything that happened. If I were a priest, I would say forgiveness is a good thing. We are getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down, Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. We have to head into the Glowing Sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the Rad-X and Rad-Away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next.